ExoCubes allows multiple report selection and filtering choices from the standard member selector. From here, we can select one or multiple items and then choose related sets of members from these. We can also select a range of cells for the input of the hierarchy which allows manual input, combo boxes or formulae to populate the field. This can all be done from the range field here. Secondly, we can show the grid task pane. All hierarchies are readily available and we can make selections easily. Another useful method is to use slicers. To add a slicer, right click on the individual member and select add slicer from the Excel cube menu. As you can see, I now have an in-cell tree view and here I can navigate and pick many members I want, which by default allows me to go to the very bottom level of the hierarchy. One important thing to mention about the slicer is that it's fully cube connected, which means the options available will change with the underlying cube structure, so any additions would be automatically available for selections in this dropdown. We can easily move and resize the slicer, so I can move it away from the grid, and it will not lose any functionality. If we right click and select edit, we can take a look at some of the options available. Here we can change to any of the other available slicer types. If we click on the behavior tab, there are a number of settings of interest for this type of slicer. Firstly, I can choose to update a particular Excel range with the selection I make, so we can choose to put the slicer selection in cell D2 and then say we want to output the caption. Next, we can set up the tree view so it will stop at a particular level, so let's limit that to the state province level and no lower. If we go to the appearance tab, we can give the slicer a name and also show either that name or a cell range in a title bar for the slicer. We'll call it geography. So, as you can see, the tree view behaves exactly as before and updates as expected. Our slicer has a title of geography, Cell D2 has been populated with our selection, and you can also see that when we reach the state province level, there are no more options to drill down. I could now use cell D2 to drive formula reports or SQL statements contained elsewhere in the workbook. We'll take a look at other slicer types in subsequent sessions.